Accountability scores for districts across the state were released yesterday, assessing the test scores, growth, graduation rates, and more. WNCT's Courtney Allen breaks down what it all means. Wednesday, school districts across the east got word of how they fared for the 2017-2018 school year. We're very pleased with reports. It shows substantial progress. Lenore County Public School Superintendent Brent Williams. We were a low-performing district just four years ago, and in the last three years, we've come out of low-performing status. 15 of 17 schools in his district met or exceeded academic growth expectations, which is measured on end-of-year assessments from one year to the next. Six Lenore County schools increased their performance letter grade and the graduation rate rose to 84.6 percent. Our graduation rate currently is, an, is at an all-time high and we've cut our uh, dropout rate by 40 percent over the last three years. While five Lenore County schools received D or F letter grades, Williams says that does not tell the whole story. The letter grades give um, stronger, it's an 80-20 measurement with growth being 20 percent and 80 percent proficiency. But we believe growth is a significant factor because it shows where the students actually start and where they end. Other schools in the East echoing the same sentiment. In a statement, the Onslow County School District says overall 80% of the district schools met or exceeded growth. In Duplin County, it's the first time in 22 years that every single school met or exceeded growth. Williams says while he celebrates Lenore County Schools progress, the district needs to continue to work on proficiency and improve ACT scores. We want record high student achievement, student proficiency as well. We want those letter grades to keep going up and to keep moving onward and upward for every student. Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.